Hey, what's up, Facebook world? Clayton Thomas Muley here from 350.org. Uh, we brought uh, Pacific Climate Warriors from Fiji and Samoa to travel here to northern Canada to bear witness to the Canadian tar sands. Uh, our relatives from the South Pacific um, are seeing their land literally disappearing uh, behind the rising seas as a result of catastrophic climate change. And so one of the primary drivers of climate change on our sacred mother earth is the Canadian tar sands. So we got Radina here from Samoa. Say hi to Facebook Live, Radina. We got Coretti, the coordinator of 350 South Pacific. The, the, the mama for all the Pacific climate warriors. She keeps them safe, gives them guidance, helps them out. And then we got George, George from Fiji. Yeah, you excited about the flyover today, George? Cool, man. And of course, we got Ariel Derange from the Athabasca Chippewan First Nation. She doesn't like being on the camera, but she's so good on the camera. Uh, so what are we doing today, Ariel? We're doing a flyover. I don't want to be on camera. We're doing a flyover. Okay. The land will speak for itself. All right, cool, cool. Not a single project has ever been denied. It's never been in denial. There's 154 in total. Every day, it's a somewhere else for our native people here in these places that are affected by industry. That's our home. It's just like where you come from. There's nowhere else. You can't just, you know, with the, with the rising sea, you can't just go somewhere else. That's your home. What we went over, many islands in the Pacific can fit into. Can fit inside that. And for it to be so cruelly disrespect. <laughs> the way we live back home has changed dramatically, yeah? Because of in the fossil fuel industry. The villages that live close to the coastal areas have to move further inland to, to plant uh, root crops just because of the soil not being fertile enough, because of saltwater intrusion. People are suffering because of this. What we're seeing is a recognition of interconnectedness, the impacts that climate change is happening on the culture and the identity and the security and sovereignty of Indigenous peoples is almost exactly the same no matter if you're in Fiji or in Northern Alberta. We wanted to come and see this firsthand. We needed to understand. We came to learn. We came to observe. We came to pray. And we came to see how we can contribute to the healing because we need for this earth to start thinking more about healing. We need it. My automatic reaction was tears in my eyes because of how it's impacting my home island. 
I'm not sure if many of you know where Samoa is or the South Pacific. But it's home. To people like me, you know, we think the, the Pacific Islands are just a dot on the map. But there's living beings there too. I challenge you all to come and see what, how we are living. And how we're very hospitable when anyone comes around. Tisleewitsi Nation means people of the water, people of the inlet. Our first look, mother was um, the water that you'll be in tomorrow in Burrard Inlet. The pipeline goes right through the main watershed of the, of the Fraser River, which will affect like all the salmon and like, they call this Salmonopolis because like salmon is life here. <laughs> like this is our life, like 80% of our food came from the water. The pipelines are gonna burst. It happened 2007 really close to here. You know, and, and um, accidents always happen. There's a 92% chance of a spill happening, and we can't take that risk. I heard of the tragedies in your territories too, and how you're standing up is similar. We, like you, um, our connection to the land and water is sacred. You know, we understand that when you take from the land, you must return. You must give back and this not what's happening. People that live around here that when they find out the true facts of the destruction that this causes them, they'll, they'll want to do something for their future generations. 100%. Indigenous uh, communities all around the world hold the key to how to heal Mother Earth, how to heal the land and our oceans. You know, I wish it was in better circumstances that we come together as people and um, but I'm glad you are in here because we support you the same way. Welcome to our territory and I'll pray that our ancestors take care of you while you're here. We're standing here today in solidarity with our relatives in Tisleewatooth territory with representatives of small island nations who have traveled here to Canada to challenge the Canadian government, to challenge Prime Minister Trudeau, to honor his word that he made when he said that Canada is back at the Paris COP21. He promised small island nations that Canada would push for a 1.5 degree climate target, but yet came back and approved the Kinder Morgan pipeline and the Enbridge Line 3 pipeline. We in the Pacific face the impacts of climate change every day. Sea level rise, a change in weather pattern. Just last week, in the month of May, there were two cyclones going through the Pacific. And it's because of expansions like this. And that's why we are here in solidarity with our Pacific brothers and sisters in the 15 island nations, with the people of this land. To tell the Prime Minister Trudeau, keep your promise. You know, We are also human beings. We have the right to life and the expansion of this fossil fuel industry is exporting destruction to the Pacific. I'm here to raise a paddle tour with our South Pacific climate warriors. We're just about to get ready here to say some prayers. We're here to pray on these waters. We're asking that the smell of gas in the air, all the poison that's coming from the refineries, that this all ends. We want clean water for our future generations. I want clean water for my little great-granddaughter sitting on this canoe. I love this place where I live. We all have to feel that way in our hearts to stand up and fight for what we own, fight for where we live, fight for clean water, clean land and clean air to breathe. We can't just sit idle anymore and let the billionaires do what they want. 
with our land and our water and our air. It's time to warrior up. What you want the canoes are doing today, you're grabbing a paddle and saying, I'm gonna warrior up today. I will do anything to protect this water and this land. Creator grandmothers and grandfathers, bless this water, bless this land, and please help Kinderborg and talk to their heart so they'll know what they're doing is killing. They're killing the fish, they're killing the deer, they're killing the bear, and what's worse, they're killing people. I ask you, Creator grandmothers and grandfathers, to help us stop it. Help us to stop it. I want a better life for my grandchildren. Oh, oh, all my relations. Oh, oh, oh.